Hi, it's Matt here from Go Green Autos. So I frequently get asked what is under the bonnet in an electric vehicle. So I'm doing this series covering most EVs and today we have the BMW i3. So to open the bonnet we push the button there on the key and apart from rubbish from the trees what you have under the bonnet here is a storage area and then the other components are hidden under these fabric panels held down with velcro if I take them both off. So there isn't an awful lot under the uh, bonnet on an i3 because the i3 is rear wheel drive and I'll show you that in a minute but here we have our brake fluid reservoir we've got our washer bottle the headlights take up most of the bonnet because the i3 does have a very very small front end so on this side of the vehicle uh, we've got a coolant bottle here oh and i see this has got a mini logo on it so obviously the same part is used in a mini but uh, all electric cars have coolant and a little radiator up front and then that pumps coolant around the electric motor to keep that cool we've got a second bottle here i'm not sure what that is used for it's the first time i've looked under here uh, i would imagine that's probably for the heating system uh, because this has a resistive heating system um, and often they will just uh, heat up water and pump that through the heater matrix but i'm not 100 percent sure um, i'm sure someone will correct me in the comments and then at the back here hidden right at the back is your 12 volt battery which they've put it in the most ridiculous place very difficult to access but it doesn't use a standard 12 volt battery it's a much uh, smaller battery very narrow but tall a bit like a, a motorcycle battery really so all electric cars have 12 volt batteries and that is because the majority of the car uses traditional components and it's all 12 volts so your headlights wipers dash radio and all the ecus in the car are all 12 volt and just like a normal car it's completely reliant on the 12 volt battery to start the car so typically the traction battery that sits under the floor is typically around uh, 400 volt and that only powers the electric motor and the heating system everything else in the car is driven via the 12 volt battery so with a normal car you would obviously have an uh, alternator charging the battery while you drive but with an EV you obviously don't have an engine doing that so you have a DC to DC converter and it's uh, converting 400 volt or typically 400 volt from the traction battery to 14 volt DC and charges the battery while you drive. So as I said the BMW i3 is rear wheel drive so at the back is your electric motor so if I just open up the boot here you have your carpet floor there if I just take that out and then under that you have this steel panel if you've got the range extender version you have an access cover there which allows you to get to the dipstick and check your oil level and this cover is held down with um, eight or so screws which I've already removed so if we remove the cover so this i3 is a range extender version so this is the range extender it's a petrol engine and it just acts as a generator it doesn't drive the wheels at all and while you're driving when your battery gets down to six and a half percent state of charge this will fire up and it charges the battery while you drive to extend your range and uh, here's our oil dipstick and then under here is where you fill it with oil and it has this little noise um, insulation cover on the top and then on this side is the electric motor uh, there's not much we can see here but just like all EVs you'll have electric motor at the bottom with two little drive shafts driving the rear wheels in this case and then all the other electronics on, on the top of that built into aluminium enclosures is your charger and your inverter systems and like all EVs everything that is high voltage is uh, coloured orange so the orange cables here will be uh, bringing the power from the traction battery underneath the floor which is typically 400 volt and uh, also the cables from the charge ports if you have a, um, a pure battery EV 
without the range extender then you have a big void here but you can't access it because um, obviously you've got the metal um, protection cover on the top but I have seen someone in Europe I think in Holland maybe that has designed a, a product that is a um, metal storage box so it allows you to use that um, that void and sort of store your charge cables and things in there um, which replaces that metal plate and on the i3 the charge ports are here at the back you've got uh, there's your AC charge port and that's your DC CCS port and you can always um, identify a range extender model because you have this additional flap here on the driver's side wing and that's your petrol filler cap behind there I hope you found that useful if you like the video do please click the YouTube thumbs up button and maybe subscribe to the channel because I will be doing other similar videos looking under the bonnets on other EVs.